Let's now see the troubleshooting question number one in subnetting. We will see what we are going to learn in today's lecture. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to troubleshoot the connectivity issue in the given subnet. Let's dive into the question directly. The question is, here is a host and if this host wants to participate in a network, it obviously needs an IP address and a subnet mask. Let's assume this host is assigned with this IP address 192.168.1.127 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.224. After assigning this IP address, this computer started crying. Why? This computer is not able to talk to any of its neighbors. And we need to do something for this computer in order to make it happy. And this is what the question is. Let's change the mood of the host from sad to happy. What to do? So shall we change the mood of this computer? Yes. If we want to change the mood of this computer from sad to happy, we need to make sure that this computer is somehow able to contact its neighbors. So how to deal with this neighbors? We know IP address is just an identity of a host in the network. And who are all the neighbors to this computer is decided by this subnet mask. Now let's inspect this subnet mask to check whether we have assigned right IP address to this host. And the actual question is, we need to troubleshoot the issue so that this computer is able to participate in its local area network. In other words, we need to change the status of this sad computer to a happy computer. Now let's troubleshoot this. We can guess to some extent that there may be some problem with the IP address because the subnet mask is a valid subnet mask. We don't find any problem with this subnet mask. We will check whether we have assigned right IP address to this host and we will take this subnet mask in order to do this troubleshooting. So the solution goes like this. We know the subnet mask is 255.255.255.224. Let's convert this decimal subnet mask into binary so that we will find the subnet generator. When we convert this into binary, we will be having all ones in the first octet, all ones in the second octet, all ones in the third octet because these three octets are 255. And what about this 224? 224 means 128 plus 64 plus 32. So put together it's 224. So this is the subnet mask in binary for this decimal subnet mask. Now, what is the subnet generator? We know the subnet generator is the first one that we are encountering. This is the first one we are encountering when we move from right to left. And what is the decimal value of this one? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So the subnet generator here is 32 and we know the subnets will be with 32. We will just revisit the IP address which is mentioned in the question. The IP address is 192.168.1.127. Let's take the starting of this. The first IP address is 192.168.1.0 and add the subnet generator to the fourth octet position because we know the subnet generator is in the fourth octet. Just add 32 to this fourth octet, we'll be getting 192.168.1.32 as the starting of the second subnet. Then the third subnet is 192.168.1.64. Add 32 to this, we'll get 96. Add 32 to this, we'll get 128 and it goes on. And what about the ending IP address? Since the second subnet starts with 32, the first subnet ends with 31. Since the third subnet starts with 64, the second subnet ends with 63. And we know these are all the ending IP addresses of the subnets we got. Now where is the IP address of the host computer mentioned in the question falls in the subnet categories? The host computer falls in this category. That is, it is 192.168.1.96 to 192.168.1.127. Did you find out the problem? Though we have 32 IP address in the subnet, we can have only 30 hosts. We cannot use this first IP address, which is 192.168.1.96, because this is the network address. At the same time, we cannot use 192.168.1.127 also, because this is the broadcast address. So we found out the reason why this computer is sad and crying, because it has been assigned with this IP address 192.168.1.127 which is the broadcast address of this network which cannot be assigned to the host and that's why this computer is a sad computer. Now what is the solution for this? 
So except this 96 and 127, we can assign any other IP address which has not been assigned to any of the hosts. Now we are trying to change it as something. This computer is keenly watching what we are doing. Now let's assign a valid IP address. Let the IP address be 126. Now this 126 is a valid IP address in this subnet. This computer is now happy. Fortunately, we have changed the host which was sad earlier. Now it is happy. And we troubleshooted this problem easily. What lesson we are going to learn from this? We should not assign the network address or the broadcast address to the host computer. In a subnet, we must always subtract 2 from the set of IP addresses we get. Suppose if we get 64, we need to subtract 2 from it. We can use only 62 IP addresses. So 62 hosts only can be possible in that network. In this example, though we get 32 IP addresses in this subnet, we can use only 30 IP addresses. So 30 hosts can be possible in this network. And that's it guys, we troubleshooted this problem. Let's see a different scenario in the next problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.